We just made some coffee and we're gonna head out. What's up, babe? Hey, morning. Dixie wants some coffee. From New Mexico. We made it to Las Cruces and it got very chilly last night, but we were fine in the van. We're feeling like it's time to find a shower, and luckily, iOverlander has a very good shower spot for $1 for 45 minutes. So we are going to check that out. Rosa came in clutch today and made coffee and oatmeal this morning while I was still sleeping which is like kind of tricky to do back there, but she did it because she's the best. And um, we're trying out instant coffee because we're tired of cleaning our French press. In this van, it's very difficult to do dishes when we're just moving from like parking lot to parking lot. So we tried instant coffee today and what do you think? I don't mind it. I've had some really bad instant coffee. This one's the Nescafe Taster's Choice Colombian and it's not bad like better than some of the gas station coffee I've had around here which isn't really saying much but it's great onwards to showers did you just zone out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> what do you think of the coffee babe <laughs> I was just thinking about all the bad coffee I've had onward <laughs> <laughs> Love you. How was your shower? It was good and it was so funny because I brought shampoo in and everything. And I was like, I should wash my hair because I don't know the next time I'm gonna have a shower. But I was like, eh, I don't know. Some girls, y'all understand this dilemma. It's like, you know, you lose all your volume and whatever curl you've already put in. And then I couldn't curl it because it wouldn't dry in time. So I just decided to like not wash my hair and just rock this for like another five days. See how it goes. <laughs> maybe she's born with it. Yeah, maybe she's born. Oh no, that's that's Maybelline. That's, that's makeup. Maybelline. Yeah. I've got the urge to herbal. Do you find a spot to fill up our water? Um, there's like a water fountain in there, but I know. will go check. Now it's my turn to go shower, and I'm gonna bring you with me. You're such a good friend. <laughs> Kidding. By the way, we just hit 600 subscribers on YouTube, by the way, uh, which reminds me, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please do it. Please. It makes me feel better about myself. Foot disease. I didn't bring any flip-flops, so I had to shower in my bare feet. So I was walking around the change room in my bare feet, so I just sprayed some sanitizer on <laughs> And now we're the freshest van lifers in the biz. We're so clean and now I'm going to change <clears throat> into not the clothes I wore yesterday. And I tidied up the van while you were gone and I took the little girlies for a walk and oh even gosh. Lola was getting bursts of energy. Who is she? That she, girl. She's, she's Rosa. She's Rosa. Now onward we go from Las Cruces, New Mexico to Tucson, Arizona. That's our next stop go shop and stack up before we cross the border maybe tomorrow maybe we're gonna we're crossing New Mexico tomorrow I can feel it but I we're like it. we're like 12 hours of driving no we're not yes, we're I googled it we're four hours to Tucson and then from Tucson to Puerto Cidos we're seven hours yeah seven but that's crossing hours. through Sonora we have to drive all the way to Mexicali like we have to keep going no. okay okay
stopped at a Walmart to grab some supplies. Can I get a Tucson? Tucson! What are you doing, you hippie? You little hippie? Starbucks! minute random stuff that we decided we needed. I think it's gonna be a okay. You have faith? Okay, so. Somehow we spent like seven hours at Walmart between the oil change and getting all the random things that we needed and then packing all the random things that we needed into the van and I didn't think that we had more space, but Tyson found it. We got it all put away. The only space we had to sacrifice in here was like a little spot for a cute rug we bought. But we're all ready to cross the border-ish. We gotta fill up our water, we gotta fill up our gas tank, maybe go to Home Depot and look for some kind of screens for the window for bugs at night. But luckily, maybe Home Depot opens at 5 a.m. What time are we leaving? getting up? I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, if we want to get up early, we can, like, get up and go. And so we're in Yuma, Arizona. There is not a lot of places that you can sleep for free around here. The Walmart says no camping, and there's some casinos, which you normally can stay at casinos for free, but you have to pay $10. So we are at good old Cracker Barrel. This is our first Cracker Barrel that we slept over at. Yeah. There's a lot of campers here. There's like, I want to say like 20 campers in this little parking lot. Yeah, there's like 20 campers and no doubt they are all either just cross the border or crossing the border tomorrow. So we're how far from the border? Did we say that already? Um, I think we're only like 20 minutes from the border. We're 20 minutes from a, a crossing, but we're going to go to Mexicali. So I think that we're like still like a little, like almost an hour from the border. We are four hours and 40 minutes from our first stop in Mexico, which is Portecitos, um, a beautiful hot spring that we stayed at last year. So we don't have that much driving to do tomorrow, if you consider under five hours. Not that much. <laughs> so on the road, all in all, we've been driving, I think like 38 hours. We're like that far from home. We're still only 60% of the way to the tip of Baja. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to see on the way, but we're, you know, we've done a lot of driving, we still have a lot to go, but that concludes our Cross America part of our vlog. So, thank you so much for watching. Catch us in Mexico. So, I hope this border crossing goes well. Last year we got randomly flagged for additional search. Um, I don't know. Catch us next week. We'll let you know how it goes. I just packed everything away nice and tight, so I hope they don't rip oh it all apart. Gosh. Oh my gosh! Well, I was anticipating that while I was doing. It. I'm like, I'm, they're probably gonna make me open up this car topper and open up everything. And that's okay, because I'm ready for it. <laughs>